Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome to Breath Edge. Now, I'm currently doing a series on my channel regarding this game, this fantastic game. It's really refreshing. Devs have got an excellent sense of humour in there, but they've now released a patch. So, what's in the patch? Well, we're going to go through it. Now, it's available on Steam, as a lot of you know, and they've added gamepad support. They've also fixed a bug with the inability to rotate an object in the tutorial window, fixed a bug where the chicken remains in the hands after neutralizing electricity, which is very nasty, fixed a bug when the sound of gasping doesn't stop even if oxygen is already replenished, and you won't be able to insert other items into the videotape recorder. Now, why you'd want to do that? Anyway, no one knows, and neither does the developer. So continue it. All gameplay tweaks continue with the glass knocked out from the boxes can no longer be collected without a grabber. So you've got to get that grabber crafted. Added an additional check for resources when you try to craft and fixed little text of some objects. A change of burdock scale during the game and fixed collision of objects. Something that was a little bit frustrating. They fixed a bug when corpses stick to the mouse when dragging them. I haven't seen that one. The possibility of debugging with F1 to F5 keys is now turned off and fixed English localization. Also bugs with infinite oxygen. Damn, I like that. And fixed the bug with missing items in the suitcase. Now that was very frustrating. They also mentioned they fixed the bug with the inability to click the new game button. Fixed the bug with corpses gravity in the shuttle. It's still there. I thought it was fixed. It's still there. They float around even though there's gravity and fix the bug with the game crashing when changing settings. And then finally fix the bug with defining all screen resolutions. But what a fantastic and refreshing game. You know, Xbox One, 360, PS4 and Steam controller support has been added. And they've added Steam cards to the game as well, which I've seen because they've been popping up which I think is absolutely great. People are so far, they're leveling, loving this game on Steam. The reviews are coming in there quite good. Check out for more videos in the series.